Hello, I'm Charles. And I'm Ron. Um, we are obviously the designers behind the Charles and Ron label, um, which it's, it started um, basically when we met in 1992, so quite a long time ago. And organically, we grew from one, from one thing to the other, and it, it all led to, to this where we are today. Well, Charles, uh, when I met him, already used to sew because his aunties and his grandmother um, taught him how to sew. It was a tradition in the family. And um, when I met him, I said, you have a really, ugh, this is a huge talent. You need to do something. He was like, oh yeah, it's normal. And um, so then after we met, uh, after a short while, I ended up moving to Malta and basically encouraged him to open the first studio, which which back then was in his bedroom. <laughs> I describe our brand as it, uh, for the women's side, it's very feminine, you know, it's colorful, and it's for a woman that really wants to stand out. Um, we started off as a, as a women's wear brand, um, but over the years it has developed into a lifestyle brand where we, we have uh, accessories, men's wear, um, a cafe <laughs> and, and all the related goods. So um, I think overall the brand has, has grown um, organically, but the, the, the core of our brand is that we are a Mediterranean brand and, and it reflects in, in everything we do, in the way we design, we use color and... and um, we get our creative inspiration from our surroundings. It could be um, architecture. It could be the sea or the sun, you know, um, uh, it's very Mediterranean. It could be even when we travel, especially um, uh, in the south of Europe. We incorporate Maltese culture um, in a way that in the beginning, maybe it was a bit more in your face. It was the way we used the, the Lutsu and the balconies. So super recognizable Maltese uh, elements. Uh, over the years, we've, we've started looking a little bit deeper into, into specific subjects um, which, which are not so much um, on the forefront and maybe even within the designs, within the graphic, you might not straight away realize what the inspiration is, but then when, once you see it, it, it's there. Like the season uh, was inspired by the, the NASA fishing net. It is not necessarily completely Maltese, but it's very traditional and, and it's a traditional craft. So for us, it's important to, to put a spotlight on, on dying crafts as well. Our dynamic, I mean, from the beginning, we always worked very well as a team because Charles is very technical when it comes to hand on actually cutting, making clothes. And that side, I'm really not good at. For me, it's more the design, the organization, um, so we really, it's it really fitted well. And over the years we, we taught ourselves, because obviously you start from one point, but then you keep on learning and, and as you go along. Um, I mean, there were, in, during fashion shows there were quite some fails of, of models that clothes fell off them while they just walked on the runway. But those, always, those remained sort of iconic moments within the memories, you know? And, and like a, a model score said that fell off, but she was so quick to hold it with her hands. I mean, these are things that over the years we still, you still mention them. So actually quite fun. I mean, I think the one that I'm most proud of is uh, when we were invited to Buckingham Palace to do, uh, we were part of an exhibition from the Commonwealth Fashion Exchange. And that gown, I mean, we still have it, obviously. And I think we feel very proud that we took part in. Um, I think the fashion industry as such is still very small, but it has also come a long way at the same time. Um, from the days when we, we started, um, a lot has changed. Um, when we started, we, need, we had to fight even to get publicity. The whole perception of what fashion was was completely different. Um, but I think also what what has changed is, is the Maltese people have an appreciation for things that are locally made uh, or locally designed um, and which over the years it has, has improved a lot. It made us branch out. First of all, I'm into cooking. I love cooking at home and I always had 
this dream that once I would like to open like a cafe or a, or a small restaurant and I don't know how it, it came, we got the opportunity and Ron used to tell me what are you going in for, <laughs> it's a lot of work, it's this, but uh, we made it happen. Uh, Café Concept, we wanted it to be um, related, obviously connected to, to us as a fashion brand. Um, the place in itself as well, we want it to be a crossover. Even when you're in the cafe, visually you're still seeing fashion. And so also uh, when it comes to the food menu, we wanted to create a food menu which is a little bit different than other places, where you have your healthy options. Um, uh, and, and sell it with a bit of a twist, so, so not the usual. Um, we also have the non-healthy options, <laughs> very good cakes, but it's a blend. Um, I think it's a cafe infused with, with a, a fashion flair. Internationally, we work a lot uh, in Los Angeles. Uh, we work with a PR agency over there. Um, we started showing our collections again in the US this year. We launched our fall winter collection in, uh, in LA last month. And next one on the calendar will be New York Fashion Week. So there are always plans. Um, we're, we're launching a, a very cool um, as a, a capsule collection in June, which is a collaboration with, with somebody else. It's, very, it's to celebrate our anniversary, which I almost don't want to say. <laughs> We've been 30 years together, so. Um, um, so it's all it's it's all that together, and we'll launch it in June. But that's about all I can say so far.